Good luck to both of you. Buena suerte a los dos. Ryan Garcia, King Rock, the flash. You know the hand speed. That's the challenge in front of him tonight. Francisco Fonseca. That knocked him off balance. Got him with a left hook. After the fight, man, everything just lets out. I, I, I go off, man. I'm exploding. I'm, it's so much adrenaline, so much dopamine in my, in my brain is going crazy. I just love life, and I, I try to celebrate it the best way I can every day. This is my year. This is the year I shocked the world. I knew I wanted to do something amazing in 2020 and shock the world, but like when it happens and you do the first step of it, it's just like, man, now the, the train is rolling. It's for real. It just feels amazing. It feels, it feels amazing. Hey, if they didn't respect me, now they respect me. Hey, one hey, minute. I can't believe you beach ball. Perfect. Bro, I told you, dog. Perfect, perfect. You That's that what you asked. Right. That was beautiful. Before the fight, I was praying because I knew I was going to knock him out. I, I really honestly believed I was knocking him out. I, I prayed to God. I said, God, when I knock him out, please have him wake up. Destroyed and hey, I'm dedicated. Right. So I ain't even gonna, you think I'm happy with this? Uh-uh. Turning up next camp even harder. Yeah. So, so, so be fearful right now. I ain't stopping today. I ain't stopping tomorrow. I'm gonna work, man. The chip on my shoulder is gonna always be there. It's, uh, it's always gonna be there because I put so much love into this game. And then to hear people and to, 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 to get the criticism I would get, it was like, are you serious? People don't know this, bro. I'm a late bloomer, so I had to work my mind. I was like, how do I to deliver a punch like this? OK, when I get bigger, I'm going to have to start fighting right. like this. So it helped me. It grew me to this moment. Right. So that's why I'm like, dedication. That, that's true mama mentality right there. That's true. Right. That's some you got to be born with. No hay quien le aguante esta mano. Nadie. Nobody. Nobody. Hey, yo, the rain was steady pouring, heard it drops and drizzle meant to be. Shelling in my crib, no doubt. <laughs> Anybody in that division, champion or non champion, gonna have problems sleeping tonight because they gotta figure out what else do he have in his arsenal other than the power that some people thought that he didn't have. This was a statement fight, and all fighters out there, young, middle aged, if you're old, you already left. Take a page out of the young goat, Ryan Garcia. Young goat? Sir, Yo. sir. I like that. I like that. They want me now, huh, Manos? We turned up on them. Let's exactly. go. Exactly. We turned up on them. People think he's gonna beat me. I'm gonna beat Luke Campbell. Then I'm gonna go after Javante Davis in, in December for Christmas, a Christmas present. Say about my knockout. Uh, he goes, man, he goes, this is awesome. He goes, tell Ryan, man, just unbelievable. 
I always like to hear what my uncle got to say. I don't know why, I just like to hear what he has to say. I bet uncle feels real good being the person that introduced me to boxing. Oh, yeah, he's so proud of you. I felt that he was special when he turned eight years old. His third amateur uh, bout that he had, he just gave it all. And I saw the hunger in him, I saw the drive, and then from that point, I saw him develop and develop. And it's like he just kept this motivation going, going, going. And I was like, wait a minute, this boy just doesn't stop. His first amateur fight. Eight years old. Eight years old, and he loses. I was so mad at them. Like, wow. <laughs> but then again, Sergio, he wanted to fight. Well, because Uncle fight Sergio was like, he could fight anybody. Spirit, yeah. He'll fight anybody. So we made that mistake. <laughs> Live and learn. Second yeah. fight, we went to the guy's uh, hometown. We beat him. And I know Ryan beat him. And he kept dropping his mouth. But then, exactly. And then that's when they turned it to, to him, his, decision. his favor. So that was two losses. The third fight was interesting because, you know, I made Ryan a promise and I told him, I said, hey, Ryan, I said, I guarantee you, because I, I, you know, I, I felt, you know, like I felt responsible because I was taking him and I said, man, you know what? I got to protect my boy. Yeah, well, my family just being there, it's just, it's just a, a, a comforting feeling. They've been there my whole life. They, they, they've been on this boxing journey with me. They've been through hell and back for me. You know, they, they gave up everything to pour it into my boxing career. We, we had no plan B. It was like, Ryan, you're talented, go. I tried to shield him from knowing what was really going on so that he could focus and, and Sean can focus on their boxing. Um, I think, you know, we just happened to fall under that whole economic crisis from 2005 on, and that's kind of what happened. And they were at that age where they, they weren't really, they were aware of it to a certain degree because they saw that we had to move and move and, and uh, but you know what? That's just part of life, right? Things like that happen and you just gotta keep going. Look at her. Every time she sees me, she's like, that's my dad, though. So my daughter is more, I want to be a better person for her. I don't want to do anything to make myself a bad example for her, like her look at her daddy in a weird way. I love being like, like said, a girl's dad. Yeah. Could you imagine having a son? Man, wow, oh, that'd be crazy, man. Let's say he wants to start boxing. Let's just say, what would you do? Go all in. Like, I would <laughs> go, all <laughs> go all in. in. <laughs> I mean, it definitely changed me more as a person, not more as a fighter. I've always had that dedication. But I, I want her to look up to me like a superhero, so it's like I'll hold myself a little better. Bibbidi bobbidi boop. Disneyland, you know, it's good. Why? Because of family, you know? It's for family. It's for, you know, kids to have a good time, to give them great memories. Yeah, say hi. Anything is possible. Dream to be a princess, dream to be a king. If you really look at everything behind the message of Disneyland, it's pretty beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Hi, brother. Hey, love you, man. Yes, love you too. Yes, sir. My daughter is gonna be the first woman president by 50. I just look up into the sky, I just thank God. Like, I, I just feel everybody's energy, and I just soak in the moment. What's up, man? How you doing? What's up, man? You fine? Thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. Same. Man, the you. box, you deserve way more respect. Okay. Thank you, man. I appreciate <laughs> that for real, for real. And yo, I'm with the Patriots. <laughs> Everything I do in boxing is calculated. So, Lenaris. It's all good and damn I, You had a great career. I have respect for you in that regard. Linares, all kudos to him. He's a great fighter. One thing he don't have. I'm going to test that when I see him. I'm going to knock his out. He's just a, he's just an old lion, so I'm going to get him out of there. He's going to be retired after my fight. I'm going to calculate my shot until I hit him to where he cannot get up. I'll say it like that. Can't stop me. We're gonna find a place. You live by the beach. Let's go. <laughs> you live by the beach, baby. Uh -huh. To be in my life every day, you're gonna have to be a little insane. 
We stay ready, that's what I'm saying. No matter what, we working. Now, here we go. One. Just let it breathe. Yeah. That's where your power comes from. Staying low. That's how we be knocking these motherfuckers out. Hey, look at that, Joe Frazier. This is that hey, Joe. Me and you was a better grade. That Joe Frazier. Come on, we're almost there. He called me up when all this stuff was going down. He called me on Monday and said, "Let's get work Tuesday and Thursday. Let's get back on." It. Wait for the world to restart, and I'm right back at it. We don't play no games. Southpaw. Southpaw. Hey, look at that Southpaw. Yeah. Still we, play, rhythm, we work both sides, and when some kid has a mindset like his, man, I'm gonna keep feeding him. <laughs> Good, bring it back. Same thing. With the more going on, the more you gotta stay focused, right? You gotta stay focused no matter whatever, how many people know you, how many people don't know you, because then when you get too famous or too, too many people are watching you, if you remember how focused you were when nobody was watching you, then you should have no problem. You know, when his mom found me, man, she seen some little things that we were doing, and that was it. She called me up, she said, my baby's special. Can you work with him? Called up my boys, he knows about boxing. He said, man, this kid's gonna be a $100 million kid. So I'm you talking about. Not a few people will get this, but if they do, kudos to you. What I do in every workout is feel the rhythm and beat. If you know something's off when you boom, beat, beat, it's the beat. Bing, ba, boom, boom, pow. Bing, ba, boom, boom, pow. I'm not even giving you too much because I don't want to give you too much. <laughs> My first fight, official fight, was was uh, Fernando Vargas. That was the first round knockout too. Every time I've been with him, the whole camp, they be getting the first round KOs. It's 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 not by default. It's right here what we do. Quick, quick, but down, but down. Bam, go, come on, fast. Hit it, come on, come on. I will be a true world champion. Imagine there's a lot of world champions, a lot of world champions. I'm going to be a true world champion by beating a guy that everybody's fearful of. Hank, those hard knockout artists. <laughs> Let's see what I do though. So I am the best fighter in my division right now. I will say that. And when I'm done conquering this division, I'll conquer the next one, then the next one, and then my accomplishments will speak for themselves. Of course, Tanky. We call him Tanky. I'm coming at him. It's now the roles are reversed. I'm coming at him. He's going to eat a lot of punches coming, which I don't think he will take. But even if he does, he doesn't have the heart. At, he don't even have the heart. He almost got bomb rushed by Gamboa on one leg. So, so imagine me, and I have him a little tired. Well, you want to be disrespectful? Watch this. I'm even more disrespectful. Anything you could do, I could do better. He put a meme out about me with that picture. Put up a better one. Because he, he literally copies Floyd everything he does, his mannerism. He tries to say that he's pretty boy Floyd. I'll keep fighting him until I knock him out. But I, I only want to knock people out. You need to train to kill me. You ain't, you ain't going to kill me looking over 60 pounds of your weight class. How are you going to kill me? If anything, I'm going to flatten you on the canvas. Slap. Because at the end of the day, it's for the love of the sport. I have no real beef for nobody. I'm just doing it for the love of the sport. Doing all this, oh. To watch me break my nerves is dumb. dumb.